Hi, I'm Ismail and welcome to my vlog. Today I will be doing a Q&A on my fake news article. So here we go. Alright, first question is, how did I decide on a topic? So my topic was about if Tupac is still alive or is he dead? Because over the years there's been a lot of controversy about some people seeing him in Cuba or Malaysia or somewhere in South America. So yeah, that's basically it. Alright, the strategies I used to find out which articles were fake and real were some for some like activities we did in class. So like um like the like before we did this whole like actual assignment about the fake news article, we did like we had to look at five different articles, right? And I and I just took what I learned from that and basically assessed it, like used it for my actual fake news article. So like I went on websites and searched up if they're fake or real. I used some key things like to see if there's capital letters everywhere inside the sentence and inside the title other than just the names or like a country or something. And just using things like that to help me find if it's real or fake. Alright, third question is my challenges. My challenges were to try to find out if like good articles that are like that can that can convince you, like really convincing that Tupac is alive. Because a lot of people say he's dead, but I said he was he was still alive. So I found um, I found a really good article, and it was about how Suge Knight's son, uh, which is a junior, uh, Knight's uh, junior, and he said that he was still alive in uh, Malaysia because when Suge Knight went to prison, like because he was a bad guy, he confessed that Saint Tupac in Malaysia. So yeah, that was another thing. So that was a really like good website for me to use for my fake news article to like say that he's still alive. But the other, so yeah, because. Like so, the main challenge is just to, just to try to find a really convincing article that is still alive. All right, fourth question: How I overcame the challenge? I overcame the challenge because um, that key website about saying how uh, um, Suge Knight's son said that, and he's a really important guy because Suge Knight was the um, the manager of uh, Tupac and his like music record studios. It was uh, Suge Knight, like, Suge Knight's uh, studios, and he was also a big guy, like. He would um, like big famous guy because he did like Dr. Dre, uh, N.W.A., Tupac, Eminem, people like that, and he worked with them. So him saying that he he saw Tupac in Malaysia was a big key to my fake news article. All right, the uh, fifth question: How I learned about the, how what I learned about how to identify real or fake news. All right, so I learned how to. Um, uh, identify, identify real from fake news articles through YouTube, a theories reading class, and Google. So I saw like a couple of videos on YouTube about mainly it was just mainly uh, things that like, theories reading class, like to try to find like titles, like capitals inside of titles. Um, going on a website to see if it's real. I searched on Google, like for example, like New York Times because they're really good. They don't like they don't really have fake news articles. Um, and I just try to go on like really trustworthy news places. Uh, like journals, so yeah. Number six, exposure. Do you see any fake? So I don't. It's for the exposure. Um, I don't really see a lot of fake news because the only things I actually watch news is probably on TV, and that's basically it. Like on CNN, and it's mainly when I watch like almost every single day. That's about it. But the only times I think I've ever seen like fake news was about like uh, like fake phones coming out, like the iPhone. Like when I remember like watching like the iPhone Seven commercial back in like. 2012 saying, oh, it's like, it has like a, like, fountain machine inside the phone, things like that, and I'm like, they're pretty fake, or, um, saying like, for example, someone got ma a celebrity, got married to someone else, or like, rumors online, things like that, yeah. Alright, number seven, uh, what surprised me and why? Alright, the amount, it surprised me the amount of people, like, actually, like, make re real articles, that uh, Tupac was still alive, or just in general, like, because it's very clear that he died, but people like re like way out of the way to try and convince other people that he's still alive. That's what like even the Street Knight article was really like convincing, but like we all know that he died because there's barely any evidence of seeing him, and it's just mainly all the pictures you see online are just Photoshop from him from his past days to like recent people. So yeah, that's about it. Um. What didn't surprise me? What didn't surprise me is uh, seeing articles that um, he's still alive because like our, it's been so many years that people have been always saying even as jokes that Quebec is still alive. So I wasn't like really surprised that um, 
he, sorry, that he did die, because like I knew he died since the beginning, but I just thought it would be like a fun topic to, to finally end it, to say it like, as a joke that, well, for my fake news article, that he's still alive. So yeah, see, like, it surprised me seeing how many people actually believe he's alive, because it's very clear that he did pass away, but yeah. Uh, number eight. Uh, did, this, did this change my mind about how I consume the news and how and how I feel about journalism after the project. All right, so yes, it, it actually gave me like a pretty good, like, um, how do you say, like a pretty good idea of how, um, it pre gave me a pretty good feeling about how next time if I see the news, I, if I can adapt, identify if it's real or fake, because if it's actually serious, like let's say there's like World War Three coming up, and it was like a joke, and I didn't know that, like it was fake news, I can just try and make sure that it's actually fake or real, by doing like what I did on this fake news article project, like going on website, searching up, say looking at key things, and like looking if it's actual real, if there's a other articles about it, and things like that, and looking at the actual news, because I'm pretty sure the news is always say first or something like that. Uh, number nine, uh, perspective of news, uh, news that I can form around the world. All right, so 